You're tuning into Off White. Off White. Off White Podcast. What's up, world? It's your host with the most, the newest member of the Off White Podcast, Stone, coming at you with some heat today. Uh, we're going to get it kicking off with how our days are going. All right, so my day has been crappy. Probably one of the worst days of the semester so far. Um, but I had no classes today. I had my meeting with my newspaper club that I'm in. Uh, it's been pretty good besides that. Besides the crappy parts, obviously. Um, I learned how to drive stick shift today. Good stuff. Brownie? Yeah, my day's been fine, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Such a bland answer. Okay, um, my day has uh, been very interesting. It started at the early hour of uh, 5.30 in the morning. And yeah, I had workouts for football. Great. And yeah, just class all day and test. Shout out to my math prof. Thank you for that terrible test. Appreciate you. Do yeah. you study? <laughs> no. I don't, I don't study. That's probably why it was a terrible test. I study you. Oh. All right, Snow, how was your day? <laughs> <laughs> my day was pretty mellow. I uh, just kind of <laughs> in and out of classes all day, you know, the typical college student life. For sure. Yeah, nothing you crazy. Should, you should say your major. My major is mechanical engineering. Okay. And did you come um, in with me- mechanical engineering? I did. I haven't switched. I'm the small percentile that Dang. never switched. Yeah, I, was that. I wish I was that. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I was a tall white man. <laughs> Don't <Me> we all? <laughs> <laughs> the Aryan race. So, I know Brownie. <laughs> Brownie, what do you watch on Netflix? Or what TV shows do you normally watch? I watch a lot of How I Met Your Mother. That is the best show ever. Yeah. How I Met Your Mother is my number one favorite show. How did you meet your mother? Let's not talk about that. Um. <laughs> okay, How I Met Your Mother is actually mine and Fez's favorite TV sitcom, I think, right? Yeah, it's my favorite show of all time. Um, I it's better than The Office. I just want to put no. that out there. No. Yeah, better than The Office, no. better than Parks and Rec, I'm gonna better than podcast. Friends. Why are you so angry? That. These are all <laughs> just... good shows. Like, <laughs> no, 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 no. How I Met Your Mother. I, I would like, agree. Personally, I think How I Met Your Mother all. is the best show, but... I wouldn't be so angry about it. No, I'm passionate about this. Cheers is pretty good. Um, I watch African American TV shows okay. like uh, All American on Netflix. Very great. It's about a uh, black man playing football. Typical. Um, and yeah, I watch Rhythm and Flow. It's a show where artists go on to basically like an American Idol type thing, but it's in front of all rappers and it's pretty cool. It's competitive. I wish I could get on that one day. I gotta be honest, I'm not really much of a TV guy. Um, I do love The Office, though. And I think you're completely wrong for saying How I Met Your Mother's better. Do you even watch How I Met Your Mother? No, nope, not once, but I don't need <clears throat> to. Exactly. I have it would change your no, life. I don't it need it. Mine. Can you hum exactly. The Office theme song? Yeah. Da-da. <laughs> right, that's, that's it, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, no. Just recently, I binge-watched all of um, season eight of Arrow. Like, literally yesterday, I watched all of that. Um, it's over now. I almost cried at the finale, but I don't cry because I'm a man. Unlike Zay over here. I have literally seen you cry twice. <laughs> all right. Each time it's because a family member died. I was picking her up at 7 in the morning, and my mom decides to text me, Hey, how are you doing? And I said, Mother, I'm fine. Why do you ask? Your grandpa's dead. And I was like, Oh! And then Brownie walks in my car, and I'm just crying. Like a man. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh... Yes, you looked very uh, manly while you were sobbing. The last time I cried, um, yeah, I was on the verge of losing the, like, the love of my life. So, yeah, I kind of teared up a little bit. It was silent, though. It was like the tears were rolling, but there was like no noise. Just like a couple oh, sniffs in there. That's so poetic. Yeah. <laughs> Do you ever, like, you ever like try to hold back tears so hard that you like start grunting? <laughs> Have you? Just, yeah. No. That's, <laughs> that's usually when I start like punching stuff and shattering my knuckles. So yeah, it's yeah. great. Actually, now that I think about it, yeah, I met Stone when I was trying not to cry. Like we were just talking in the cafeteria. I don't. I don't remember any grunting though. No, I didn't grunt. No, yeah. that was really good. <laughs> Could you tell I was off or no? Did you think no. something was? Well, I guess I don't you know. didn't know me very well. So. Yeah. I mean, you weren't talking to people, so I thought that was kind of weird. Yeah. But I don't know. Wow. Uh, the last time I cried? Last probably, night? Probably, morning? yeah. <laughs> I cry, like, every day. But. Explain. Yeah, Happy us, or sad cry? Like, 
Um, she just cries for fun. I sometimes. just cry for fun. <laughs> you know. She's addicted to crying. Normal uh, Thursday night. When was the last time you cried, Stone? <sighs> Probably like yesterday. I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just kidding. Hey, <laughs> Not actually. Sorry. We love a sensitive man. <laughs> no, I'm. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm confident enough to say that I like to cry every once in a while. You know, it feels good to get yeah, it out. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Especially it like when the song is so deep, and then oh, like, yeah. yeah, music, dude. Like worship can just like hit you right in the heart. You know. Yeah, it usually hits me in the heart. Pretty <laughs> hard. Yeah. Then I listen to like. Devilish rap. So yeah, just balance it there's out. Definitely, so there's definitely some worship songs that have got me like <clears throat> moved a little bit where I almost cry, but I don't because I'm a man. But um, <laughs> sure, sure. But yeah, I don't know. I guess I just grew up in a household where like if you cried, you're a woman. <laughs> so <laughs> you ever listen to like a John C. Bowling speech and cried because it's so no. beautiful? No. Has anybody? Yes. Um, the Grand Canyon story that he gave. I cried to the Olivet Fire story all the time. One time I cried during a movie, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. There's one scene that gets me every time, actually, now that I think about it. But you didn't cry, though, because you're a man. No, you're right. I didn't right. cry. I was a man. I wanted to, but I was like, yeah. no, no. You thought man, about it. Man, I thought about crying. It's that scene. Have either of you guys, any of you guys seen Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2? Of course. Two? Yes. I, I didn't see it. Speak on no. it. So Zay's the only one who's seen it. <laughs> yes. Um, Just a small, like, synopsis of what happened is, like, the main villain of the movie is um, Peter Quill's dad, and he's a planet, but he's also like a, he could become a person. He's like, a, he's basically a god in the movie, but whatever, there's a scene where uh, Peter is like adopted space father. I forget his name right now. He's the blue guy with the fin on his head. And he's locked in a cell with a rocket. rocket Are you talking about the one that whistles to like the arrow? Yeah, yeah. yeah the that's that's guy. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Mary Poppins, y'all. Like He says that in the movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, there's a scene where him and Rocket, the raccoon, are talking in the jail cell, and they're talking about, like, well, Rocket's pretty much saying, like, he hates everybody that he's, like, in a team with, he hates the whole Guardians of the Galaxy, and then the guy, like, starts laughing, he's like, we're, like, the same person, he's like, we're both, like, we pretend, like, nothing bothers us, nothing hurts, and, like, we're motionless, but, like, really, we, we hurt the most, or whatever, and I was like, dang. Did that resonate sad. with you? No. No. Uh -huh. No, that meant nothing to me. I was just like, I, I thought it was going to mean something to you. I'm no, sorry. It, it means nothing to me. Okay, cool. <laughs> you ever seen the movie Wonder? Yeah. Dude, that movie With is so sad. Jennifer Lopez, right? I don't know. Who's <laughs> in it. It's the boy that gets bullied, and then, yeah. like, the friend, like, turns on him. Oh, yeah. Dude, that I'm going to want to know his name now. The blue guy from <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy. I thought he was, like, one of the kids He's still from on Wonder. That. Okay, so it's February 20th. Recently. There was a holiday. What about Leap it? Year? Groundhog Day? <laughs> no, President's Day. It was, yeah. it was Yondu. <laughs> Yondu! <laughs> Yondu! Blue guy Yondu. from Guardians I, of the Galaxy. I was close, kind of. Sort of. Bro, it sounds like you took acid and then, like, explained a dream you had when you, after you fell asleep. It's like talking <laughs> raccoons and, like, blue guys <laughs> with, like, like, an off-brand blue man group or something. I don't know. How would you know what acid is like? I... <laughs> 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 we use it in bio lab. <laughs> yeah, so Valentine's Day. Um, last podcast, we kind of talked about what we had planned. What actually happened was, uh, yeah, <laughs> I did exactly what I said I was going to do. I sat in my room and minded my business. Well, you helped me move out. Yeah, and on the actual day of Valentine's yeah, Day. Yeah, and smash my toe. <laughs> yeah, literally, yeah. literally smash my toe with a dresser, and it's like purple and falling off but it's okay and, i mean and then you eventually did go out with your girlfriend right not no. that day yeah we went sunday we went to, uh we had reservations at a restaurant in chicago and yeah it was very expensive i spent like a hundred dollars on food and she ate the appetizer oh and, and then it and then it like the entree so i was like yeah nah. <laughs> So I basically paid $100 for myself to eat. So it, take notes. Uh, it pays to take care of yourself sometimes. Stone, what did so, you do for Valentine's Day? Oh or weekend? Boy. For Valentine's Day, I... Ooh, this is about to get good. <laughs> it's, it's really not. I went home and like hung out with my mom or something. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> I did text a girl, though. And they're like, 
she friggin' sassed the crap out of me, and like I was like, all right, I'm asexual now, and I think I'm, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just not Fair about point. it anymore. Yeah. Dang, I'm sorry. Yeah. I, no, I, no, no, no. That's a that's a good thing that he figured that out now, and oh that he's asexual because he has plenty of free time to explore his. Oh my. Asexuality. <laughs> okay, so for Valentine's Day, um, I went out with uh, the guy that I friend zoned. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> <laughs> I heard he was devilishly is, 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 is that guy? <laughs> I heard he's really funny. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, Fez actually took me out, so neither of us had to be alone on Valentine's Day. And we were going to go to Olive Garden, but the wait was way too long. So we decided to go to Buffalo Wild Wings, and it was fantastic. We had a great time, and he bought me roses. It was very sweet. Oh, how romantic. <laughs> Yeah, Buffalo Wild Wings, the most romantic place on earth. <laughs> <laughs> and we both too. got traditional. Ooh. Yeah, traditional wings are yummy, yummy. Mm. Big up. <laughs> and we got two shamrock shakes. Don't say yummy, yummy. Oh, they're back. <laughs> yeah. That's right. We got two shamrock shakes. And then... And, a oh, yeah. Uh, and, and, and didn't it bring me one. You guys well, only brought me a pizza. Uh, I was very... Oh, yeah, we brought... Yeah, Zay got a pizza. Um, and then we bought... McDonald's for brownie for sister. For my sister, yeah. So it was a good day. A lot of food. Um, <laughs> Brownie's voice was gone. It was it was <clears throat> terrible. I I'm recently getting over something. I had been coughing a lot yeah. and I lost my voice completely. Like I could not. I Fez had to uh, take my order for me because I couldn't even talk to the lady. So what I'm hearing is your Valentine's Day was spent doing things that stressed your vocal cords. Got it. <laughs> Singing. She was singing. Yes. singing. In church. <laughs> Obviously, oh, that's what I meant. Here's the kicker of the Valentine's thing, though. Is, um, I thought she were going to dress up nice. Oh. And then I was like, I was like, oh, she said she's going in sweatpants. I'm like, that's fine. Like, that actually didn't bother me. So I didn't dress up nice. <coughs> I go to pick her up. She's dressed super fancy. And I'm like, oh, my. No, I was just like, not even something I would wear to church. I just looked cute. And she never does. If you hit that attachment again and the mic turns off during our podcast because this is going great, you're kicked off. Okay. You guys heard it first. If she hits this again and it turns off, she's kicked off. (laughs) Yeah. Valentine's Day. I was supposed to go somewhere else. So I coach wrestling. And um, that weekend I was supposed to go to a wrestling trip. But I ended up not going uh, for various reasons. And I was able to, like... Take Brownie out to Buffalo Wild Wings. Um, <clears throat> it was just a busy weekend for me overall because I had meetings with uh, my RA, my RDs. Uh. Why? No, we discussed <laughs> that last time. <laughs> Got kicked out of my apartment, so I had yeah. to move somewhere else. Why? Let's not go into Zay that again. Zay helped me move out. <laughs> and um, I smashed my toe in the process. It was amazing, yeah. let me tell you. Brownie was not helpful at all. Um, I don't forget why I didn't help. Or I forget why I didn't help. I don't know. She didn't respond to my texts all day, so I kind of thought Buffalo Wild Wings was canceled. <laughs> I was getting pretty. Whoa, it she took all day. <laughs> Which she didn't do a very good job at. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh. Alrighty. So, last topic. And the most important topic of this podcast, because it's about to get deep. Um... Goals in life, people. What What are your goals in life? I know it's a podcast, but I feel like we should open up to our um, our viewers. Who wants to go first? I mean, I could open it up. All right, cool. So one of my most important goals in life is to obviously be successful in something. But I definitely went through a phase where I was like kind of I wanted to live a short life and it was like, okay, I've experienced all there is to experience. I'm ready to be off this earth. And that was really, like, my mind was set on that. I never really, like, committed to that thought process. But as soon as I got to college, it kind of changed everything because it opened my eyes completely. And I guess, I like, to kind of sum that up, I want to experience all phases of life, young, um, middle-aged, with a family and old, I just want to experience all those phases of life because, I mean, you only do get one life. And though there, I believe in, like, and I believe in something after life, um, I feel like I still want to experience that with the people I've met on Earth. So, yeah. So your goal is to survive? 
Yeah, okay. yeah, cool. and we're like not even to speak on it too hardly, but uh, where I'm from, like that's <laughs> that's a huge goal. Like mm-hmm. honestly, like being from East St. Louis, it's oh, it's a uh, it's a goal that a lot of people have, but a lot of people don't get to live out. So I mean, I feel like going off to college away was my way to um, kind of escape that and the dangers of that. So yeah, that was good for me. Anyone else want to go? All right, I'm up next. Um, honestly, it's kind of what I'm trying to figure out lately is, like, what do I actually want to do? And um, a big priority is figuring out something that I want to do that's not – or something that I'm passionate about. So I know that's not engineering um, in the long term. So it's like um, I kind of have, like, an entrepreneurial spirit, and, like, I just kind of want to pursue something I'm passionate about, whether it's music or – like bmx or um media production like i just i don't know i kind of have my my feet in a bunch of different pools right now but uh yeah just kind of that and then like have a purpose for why i'm doing it and like it always kind of comes back to like you know like it's kind of pointless if you're just doing it just to like get a paycheck or get by or whatever like i would want to like leave a difference and the only way that like i can actually see is being fulfilling is by doing it for God, as cheesy as that sounds. But, like, I mean, I struggle with that, like, all the time of, like, being just a, a good Christian in general. But I mean, yeah, that's that's a valid point because it's super hard to focus on that when you have peer pressure and all these friends that are exploring into different parts of life. And I feel like just if you know what's right for you, then stick to it. Like, I mean, everybody has their different values. Everybody has their different goals. But at the end of the day, you have yourself, and that's about all you can trust and the closest thing to that is that God made you so you just you got to stick to what you know and not what you're going on a, a limb for so mm-hmm. yeah that's a valid point are you the one that's always doing BMX by the chapel probably so I walk past I like you guys all the time and I'm, yeah. I have my earbuds in and I'm like yeah these guys oh guy no I'm usually alone oh okay yeah, yeah there's so like these two guys either. Uh, they're terrible and they just oh. <laughs> they just always shout out to you guys if you're listening but you guys are terrible and i just always walk by <laughs> listening to my uh my rock music or whatever and yeah dude those were the days though like back when you like suck and you're like you're just starting like you get so much enjoyment out of like letting like a simple trick it's like oh man you just have so much joy and so much like life from that and like granted like i'm glad where i'm at now with it but like i don't know there's just something meaningful about those simple joys right brownie what are your goals and aspirations well um currently i'm an education major so i will be a an educator but that's not really my goal um i'll do that and i'm sure i will be uh, passionate about it and i'm excited to do that but i really want to go to culinary school later in life i think that would be a lot of fun and that's my passion, but also my goals are to just uh, be married, have kids, adopt kids, be a foster parent, serve the Lord with what I do. Simply, that's it. Gordon Ramsay over here. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Open my own bakery. That would be great. And my like bakery coffee shop. That would be fantastic. Nice. Where at? If you had to pick one city. New York. Oh, my God. You're crazy. Thank you. That's a lot of business. I mean, you'd be getting a lot of money, but yeah. I like the big city. You're going to be old and crippled by 40. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, maybe maybe I'll do Chicago then. Yeah, tone it down a little bit. Come on. Yeah, 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 sorry. That's totally my bad. Chicago, you might not make it old. (laughs) (laughs) Get shot while baking some donuts. Okay, Fez, what are your goals? Well... Though I've changed my major, like, probably three times now since I've gotten here, the goal is still the same. Um, I've always wanted to be a teacher since, like, officially since my sophomore year of high school. I just wasn't sure if I wanted to teach English, history, or uh, music. Um, I remember choosing music just because um, I came into a college, like, with music ed, kind of because I wanted to prove to people from my high school. I didn't realize it then, but I just wanted to prove to them that, like, I was good at music I could sing I can do things but then like I realized that that's not what I want to do and I chose English because my favorite classes were my English classes 
Um, and the lecturing and the reading and writing, like writing for me is like my favorite thing on earth. Like that's the only time I can really like get to know myself and really let things like flow. I guess like my emotions, let out my emotions without like punching stuff, without freaking out or yelling. Check out this man's blog posts. Dude, yes. I, that was I, a wrote, side note. I actually wrote a poem the other day. It's pretty good. I like it. It's called The Shattered Vessel. Maybe I'll share it, it with you. you. Do, do you want me to read it? Is it long? It doesn't have any. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's oh, long. long. We'll save that for another podcast. Yeah. Yeah, we'll yeah, share yeah. all our art. Because honestly, we all do art in different forms. I make music. I do poetry. I do basically anything with wordplay. I've just always been good at that. Fez is a very good writer. He's um, very good. Very I good. honestly <laughs> feel like that could be a super good future. Just because not only does he have the words, but he has the personality of a writer. Like, oh, thanks, guys. Wow. <laughs> there's like so every, lifting. every writer you hear from is influenced by their past, and most of the time, like sad, sad to say, their past was not too easy. And I definitely know he can resonate with that. And yeah, that's great. Yeah. Then, then my man Stone over here, he's like, I'm sure he can write. He has all this producing equipment, which is scaring me that he's not touching it <laughs> and producing my music, but it's all good. It works somehow. And Don't then Virginia, yeah, she, she's just here. No, I, I, <laughs> I write poetry as well. And she's really good at drawing and painting. Thank you. But yeah. Can you paint a picture of Fez? Yes. But, but I want to be but like like, one of your French girls. Yeah, oh, with yes. no clothes. Yeah, not that. No, I want to be like, like lay, laying with it, like, like a fresh maid. on his hand. I want to be a French maid. <laughs> a nerd. And I want you to give me a nine pack. <laughs> 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 but yeah, so the That's whole thing. not even yeah. even. Yeah, where's the actual one? Yeah, where's the. <laughs> <laughs> She's the artist, not me. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> but yeah, um, so what made me decide to be a teacher, though, like, my whole goal to be is, in my life is to be a teacher. But it's because um, my sophomore year, my wrestling coach, and he was also my history teacher at the time, he told me, he said these words that changed me forever. A life well lived is a life lived for others. And I looked back and I was like, besides my parents, the people who have served me the most in my life were my teachers. And I want to be that person for a single student, even one student. Like, it would be great just to be that guy, that father figure or that role model that could change their life like my wrestling coach did for me. So yeah, that's my goal. A life, a life well lived is life lived for others. Noble. <laughs> 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 yep. Yeah. You guys you guys got anything else you want to talk about? I think we're gonna wrap this up. Yeah, um, I think that's good. Wrap it up. That's All right, YouTube. This has <laughs> been <laughs> this has been the Off White Podcast. I'm your host Stone. We got Fez, Virginia, and X. Don't in the forget building. to subscribe. 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 <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to PewDiePie. What? No. Yeah, we got B T series. No free promotions <laughs> over here. Right after you subscribe to Fez Nation. Domination. Fez Nation domination. Uh, hit that bell notification. Smash that like button if that's what you're into. <laughs> Leave some comments. Help us out with the algorithm. We smash really appreciate it. it. Smash, smash it. Smash it. Smash it. Smash it. Smash it. Smash it.